Hello, so today we are going to look at this problem called kth happy string of length n. So the problem asks us to return the kth happy string of length n such that a string is happy if it has these two conditions. First, the letters in the string are only a, b, and c, and there are no adjacent letters that are equal. As in, for, if, for all the indices of i, um, si has to be different than si plus 1. And so, so we want the kth happy string of length n, so we are considering only the strings of length n, and happy means has only these characters here, a, b, c, and there are no adjacent letters that are equal, right? So if we take an example here with n equal to 3 and k equal to 9, all the happy strings of length 3, so what we want is the ninth happy string of length 3, right? So all the happy strings that we can construct from a, b, c, of length 3 are ABA, ABC, ACA, ACB, you get the idea. And so here, um, one thing I should mention here is cave in sorted lexicographical order, right? So they need to be sorted. So here you can see they are sorted. Um, and the ninth one, since we can't, we can't have a, 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 for example, because that valid this condition. Right, so let's just enumerate these. So this is one, and this is two, right? And so here um, they are sorted, and if we pick the ninth one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this is the ninth one in sorted order. And so we could just return, we should just return that CAB, right? So that's the idea. Um, now let's see how we can solve it. Um, okay, so let's see how we can um, how we can solve this problem. So um, one thing that the problem asks us to do is implicitly just enumerate all the enumerate the strings um, of length three, the happy strings of length three, right? So in the example that we um, that we explored that we saw earlier, we had n equal to three and k equal to nine, right? So this was the first example. And in that example, what this would mean is that we want the um, ninth happy string of length um, 3, right? So what this would mean here is that, well, we will need to generate them, right? So what we do is we say, okay, let's generate them in um, generate all strings um, of length n um, that obey Um, one and two, right? The, the two criteria that we mentioned in the problem, and take the kth one. Well, one caveat, one thing that we need to mention there is we want them in sorted order, in lexicographically sorted order. Lexicographical sorted order. And then we, we will need to take and take the kth um, string, right? So this is the gist of the problem, right? And so um, to do that, for example, for n equal to 3, well, we want to generate all strings of length 3 that obey 1 and, uh, one and 2. So let's just write down 1 and 2 here so that... So 1 is that... Um, so 1 for us is um, characters, right? Characters have to be in the set A b and c right the second um, requirement is that well we want um, si to be different than si plus one for all i in the range zero and length of s minus two right uh, minus two because we want to be able to get the take the i plus one um, Right, and so now for now we know the what the problem asks us to do here. Um, for example one, if we go back to our example one, right, we had n equal to three and k equal to nine. So for that one, um, if we try to just enumerate them down and see what we can do there. So we have a b a. We can't take a a because that violates two. We can't take a a a again. That's valid too. So the only 
thing we can take is a and two different letters a b and a c this one is the first one and so the we have a b a a b c and uh, let me just and then a c a but how how do we take them like how can we take them in sorted order so we have this a b c right so what we can do is well let's just take a and then now we have to take only from b and c so let's take from the first one they are this is sorted order right so let's just take in that sorted order then and so the we take a and then we, we we choose from b and c so we have to take b first and then we have c first c c here but for this one well we have only c left so we take a b c now this has like three so this is one of the candidates right and then this one well if we choose c then the, the remaining is just b so we have a c b so this is our second one length three so this is our second one so this is the first choice second choice and then once this we we finish it exploring uh, a first so now we explore b first Uh, sorry, I, I forgot to, something here. So for a b once we put b now we can Take a again because we don't have the constraint of si different than si plus one violated and so here we could take a b a as well And here we could take c a, we can take a again. So we have a c a as well, right? And so actually what would happen is that this is two and this is one this is the first choice this is two uh, so let me just clarify this a little bit more so first we take a we have the choice to take only b and c because of two and so we take b and then we have c now here we have the choice to take a and c right because b because of b we can take b again so here we can take a and c so we have two choices a b a and a c b c right for this one well we have the choice to take a or b right so we take first a gives us a c a and we have the choice to take b so a c b right and so this is the order we have one two three four right so the order is always you take one the one that we just place it we don't consider it we skip it but the order is still the order in this array here so this is a very classical backtracking um, uh, problem right because we will need to enumerate all the choices and we will need to skip some of them um, but the main idea here is enumerating all the choices and so how can we um, solve this with backtracking so backtracking uh, requires us to requires us to um, find a couple of things so first the base case right um, what is the what are the parameters that we need to pass to our recursive function? Let's call these our state here. And then the second thing we need to do is how how are we going to recurse, right? And in this recursion, we will need to make a choice, then explore, then and choose. So let's call this choose instead, explore and and choose. This is the general template of solving backtracking problems. Let's first focus on the state here. So to be able to determine if a string is a happy string, right, of length n, we need we need what we've chosen so far. Let's say, for example, at this point, we need to know that we have chosen a, b so far, right? And so we need the chosen so far. And then we also, um, with the chosen, we can determine the length, right? So we can determine the length if we reach it n or not. Um, and so our base case here is if we the chosen the length of the chosen string that we have so far is equal to n that means we are done right um, that means that's potential candidate we just need to check if it's the kth string or not right um, and that's pretty much all we need. We just need to pass the chosen so far. We could have said, like, for example, pass the remaining length. So, for example, if we have chosen, uh, let's say, 2, and we are looking for strings of length 1, we can pass the remaining length as 1. But that's not needed because we can infer that from the chosen length, right? From the chosen um, string length. Now, what is the choice? Well, the choice is just picking one of the string, right? So, the choices we have at this point 
are every time it's a b and c right but we just need to skip the one that occurred before so that we don't violate two so the choices are a b and c every time because we have repetitions because we allow a b a right but skip if chosen the last character of chosen right the last character uh, is equal to the choice right whatever string we chose we need to skip because if we are at a b we can't choose b so we have to skip it if we are at a c we can't choose c because that will violate too so we'd have to skip it and so when we're choosing what do we need to do well choosing just means that we add the character that we chosen um, let's call the choice here ch well we need to add that one to the choice right and in python we can just consider the string as an array and add um, an array of one letter so that we can concatenate them and the exploring here would just mean calling whatever our request function is let's call it helper with this choice here right and in choosing means if we if we modify, so let's say we modified chosen, so we pass chosen here, then we will need to remove this character. So we'd have to say chosen.pop, which would remove the latestly added character. And that's pretty much it. We have our base case, our state, we know how we will recurse, so we can start writing our function now. Um, so our function, let's call it case, a happy string. And we pass um, n and k, right? And so we need our recursive function here. Let's call it helper. So our recursive function, let's call it helper. Um, and we need to pass chosen, the state that we mentioned earlier. And our base case, as we said, is if the length is equal to n, we will need to do something, process it, basically check if it's the case, and then um, if it's the case, use that. We will do that later. But in the else case, let's give some space here. And in the else case, we want to explore all the choices, which are, as we said, all the letters in A, B, C. Right? And then, well, we want to check if we need to skip. Right? But we need to skip only if chosen already contains an element. If we are at the start and chosen is empty, we can pick any element, right? A, B, or C. So only if chosen is empty in Python we could use that with not chosen or if the last character we can do minus one here in Python is different than the current choice then we can process it if it's equal we skip so we can protect it with this choice here and so if it's not equal that means we are good with the second condition here too um, then at that point we can um, we can recurse, right? So we could do chosen here, right? And just add to that the character that we just chose and then call helper with chosen and then in choose here by saying chosen.pop. So this is our choose step. This is our explore step. And this is our in choose step. So this is what backtracking does, and then this is the base case here. And now we need to um, set up the function call. So just before writing that function here, we will need to launch the call, right? So initially the first call, a helper is, the chosen is just an empty list, right? We haven't chosen any letter, so chosen is empty list. But we need to determine when we have reached the um, when we have the um, the kth um, the kth string, right? The kth happy string. So one way we can do that is just keep a counter of them, right? And then keep this is the kth. We will set it when the counter reaches k. So initially it's just an empty string because that's the default that the problem wants us to return if we if we can't find um, a kth happy string. And so we return that here. And now in the uh, base case processing, we can just check if 
so we need to increase the counter because we found a happy string here so that would mean here initially we will need to say self that count plus one and then check if that's the kth one um, at that point we can assign the kth string to be equal to chosen right and that's pretty much it um, and yeah so base case um, backtracking um, but here with exploring the choices skipping those that we shouldn't uh, process and then doing the choose step explore step and then the intro step and the, at the end return the result here um, so yeah so that's it pretty much actually for this problem now let's um, write it down um, run it on an example and try to improve it a little bit um, 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 the solution that we just saw in the overview so the main um, so the main thing here is this backtracking function here um, we initialize the call by passing it an empty list because that's the first initial um, chosen that we start with and then we explore we try first with um, and so here we try the choices first with a and then we from a we try to get B, uh, this two other characters and we satisfy the second constraint here so that no two um, adjacent letters are equal so if they are equal we skip otherwise we explore um, and here I just optimize it so before we had something like this where we do, did this and pass chosen and then we do chosen.pop so it's clear but actually adding it this way and removing is the same as just passing here that way we don't modify chosen in place but we pass the modified version right so this is the equivalent to that um, also we could instead of skipping here we could just only explore if either the chosen is empty or if we didn't we are not violating the second constraint right so we could do that as well um, so I have here a couple of examples that we can make sure it works so for str happy strings of length n to get the third one we should get b a and for happy strings with length 5 the eighth one is this one um, and so let's just run it to confirm it works it works for all of them so that's great um, now one thing we may not like is this self dot case here so to uh, to avoid doing that we could definitely just pass a, a res here and at that point instead of we could just add it right so that's another way to do this so we could just add it like this and here we could just say return res at position k minus one right so that we can start the index from zero um let's see that it seems to be let's print res and see um, let's just start with the first example yep so the problem here is that the string that we added is not is a, an array right so we need to join it first so we could do it this way and that gives us what we want and so if we try that again it passes right so let's try with all of them and remove the print all of all of the test cases pass right so that's one way to do it um, we might also want to if um, the length of res is equal to k we, we might want to return because there is no need to explore we we are need just k so we, we can stop there so at that point we could stop and then here just to make this look consistent we could just return there and have this like that and this should work the same way right it should all pass cool so this is so that we could um, return and not explore after k because we are only interested in the k element um, and yeah so that's it for the backtracking solution next we will see how we can solve the same problem using BFS um, we can solve it using BFS so um, let's try that um, okay so I have here the solution that we just saw in the overview so the next letters for each letter 
and then we start let's import do this import um, at the front here and then we start our BFS procedure with a queue here uh, with a DQ so that we can pop from the front and add to the end and then for each node we look at the neighbors which are the possible characters um, for the last character that we have so far in the node and so we get those those are the neighbors we add them and then we add them to the queue and then at the end we are at the last level which is the level where strings have length n because of this while loop condition here and then we pick the kth um, string if we have k at least k strings otherwise we just return the empty list um, and so is, let's just run this on the examples and it passes still fine um, cool um, yeah so that's it for this problem we solved it using two methods backtracking and using the um, using a BFS here. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.